Hey everybody, what's up? Cedric and Cedric here, CR Wrestling Commentary, and today we'll be giving our thoughts on Solo Sokoa. Now, you've heard us over the weeks and whatnot, but uh, I decided to do a little research on Solo Sokoa. Not too much. I want to know his age, how long he's been wrestling, and whatnot. And, well, look, as much as he's just not, he's not suited to be tribal chief. I mean, ugh, tribal chiefs are often two stages, old and then young. That's usually how it goes. And I mean, you know, you just cresting into your 20s or you about to leave your teens young. Um... So that's, I don't know, maybe maybe that's just too old school, traditional, but when it comes to Solo Sokoa, he doesn't necessarily have the leadership skills. He doesn't have the, how can I say, the gravity that he needs as an adult that says, I am <clears throat> over you. That's what he's been missing. He doesn't look like that badass that you shouldn't you shouldn't dare. The others look like it. Yeah. They look like it. He doesn't. It don't take much to get it, to be honest with you. It don't you I mean in in school there were kids there that was 17, 18, you know, very, very few that were 16, but they look like some grown men with rage issues. And they look way harder than Solo Sokoa. <laughs> um, but, and although that's just, I, I ain't gonna lie, I know I'm burying him right now. But here's the thing about Solo. Why doesn't he do too much in the ring? Why? Why hasn't he been, he, you know, when he wrestles, he don't really have much of a repertoire. No. He does a few things. Samoan Spike, that's really about it, right? Yeah. Doesn't do anything that anyone comes to see. Yeah. He, he doesn't have that. Mm -mm. Solo. This, this mic is ticking me off. Hold up. Pull it over here. Yeah. Okay. Solo Sokoa, from his wiki page, that's where we went, you know, he started... <laughs> Wrestling, 2018. You know that's that I haven't gone back to look at it, but that's that's my quick memory. Or he started wrestling in WWE in 2018. He's 31 years old. All right. I'm gonna be honest with you. Once you your age, def look, 18 to 25 is roughly about the same. Okay. Your frontal lobe is, is still forming, connecting, that is. It's connecting. It's getting there so your brain can process and have wisdom and things like that. It's, it's got to get there. That's why teenagers are psycho and sociopaths. They don't care. It means nothing. Yada, yada, yada. And they have no emotional control. Yes. There's no connect between their reasoning and their emotions. So you just want to throw them out into the yard and leave them. So 26, matter of fact, 25 is like when they say that's when that should be solidified. No, that could take up until 27. I think that depends on the individual. Yeah, the they might be there at 22 for some. And some, it may never connect. But once you are roughly 28 to about 31, 32, that's when you're more like, who 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 really am I? And like, what am I doing? Like like, you know, life is testing you at that moment. That's when you're like, hold up, is this has this always been around me? That's what that is. He's still in that stage. He's still in the. Is this really happening to me? I am where I am, and I'm doing what I got to do. And it's slowly transitioning. Once you are. 
in that 32 to 34 stage, that's when you 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 are in your all right. I need I need I need to be at a stage like you 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 really have a this is where I want to be, and I don't want to be there, and now I need to be here and it needs to be now. It's almost like going through teenage, but you've got wisdom, you've got a goal, you've got your sights, you just gotta have the tools to get there. Solo has been wrestling for what now? Six years? Yeah. Six years, right? Roughly thereof. Yeah. Okay. Six years in the wrestling business is like eight months in high school. You don't know the lay of the land. You might know the people. Do you know all the cliques? Do you know how the teachers are working? Do you know how to work the teachers? Do you know all the spots in that school? Do you know what to do and when to do it? No. He hadn't even settled into deciding what he is and is not going to do. He ain't there yet. As a pro wrestler, you need a minimum of eight years to be like, okay, I've, I've, I've got me figured out. What I can do, what I can't do, what I will do, what I won't do. Then you got another two to three years of, uh, bruh, I'm, I'm not going to do that. It ain't a damn thing you can say to me to change my mind. Because now you done figured you out. And you're not going to let somebody else figure you out for you. You know what you want. You know what you're going to do. That's why wrestlers don't need to be getting started roughly in their 20s. That's why, well, they can, and it's fine. You can start in the 30s. It's, it's still, this. it's all good. But they want you as young as possible, 18 to, to about 21 in that range, because it takes 10 years for you to figure out what you, who you are and what you are as a wrestler. And by that time, you'll be 28 to 31 when all your stuff is connected and you're like, I'm starting to think this now. And it all comes together nicely. And let's be real. To be functional. I'd rather be fake. I don't want to grow. I don't, I don't want, want to, to learn. Change. I don't want to change. <laughs> um, to be functional and viable in the WWE, you have to have something. You have to have something that the people are coming to see. Right now, Sokoa's in the position where everybody's curious about the bloodline. When's Roman coming back? And then him playing off of Heyman and Heyman being terrified all the time. Okay, that's great. We're going to have to see what he can do that, now that he doesn't have Heyman to be his whipping post. Yes. Um, because... He's going to have to treat the homies with some respect because they ain't, they ain't going to take too much whipping up on. Solo is 31. He knows, in general, by human nature, he already knows don't step over these bounds because those three are older than him. Mm-hmm. They All right. into the puppet show and they didn't sing the strings. Yes. They, those, those, are, those, those are men in Tamatanga as I do, I know of him, he's seen some things in life that he ain't too proud of. Mm-hmm. So he would not recommend it. Yes. Now, this is not us crapping on Solo Sikoa. Matter of fact, it's more like us trying to give a better understanding of what he's going to have to gain. Yes. And what he needs to better himself in the position that he's in. Because... Yeah, he doesn't do much in the ring. He's got the Samoan spike, which in previous recordings, I think in previous recordings, you said it's traditional. Okay, there is a tradition. He's got the Samoan drop. He's he's got the Samoan moves down. He's got all those. That's great, but that's not. He isn't big enough for that to be what we come to see. Do you understand what I'm saying? This, there is something that's in my head right now about Solo Sokoa and it's something you got to do carefully because you don't want to turn him into a baby face because what's in my head could make him a baby face quickly 
real quick. Mm-hmm. But let me, let me finish my thought. Yeah, that's why I'm I'm not he, interrupting. I'm just letting you. He's not big enough, and what I mean by big enough, not big enough star. I mean literally size wise, he's not big enough for a Samoan drop to look impressive, and he's not explosive enough for a headbutt to look impressive. He's got to find a move that suits the way he moves in the ring. Samoan spike is good. The Samoan drop. Is it could be all right, but I think it looked better if he used not the Samoan drop, but Tenzan's mountain bomb. The mountain bomb is a great counter move. That might suit him better. Throw him to the ropes, or they come off the ropes, pick him up, lift him, hold that leg, get a hold of their arm to keep him right there. So it's a a back to belly move. Fall back on him in one fell swoop, real mm-hmm. smooth, real quick. It's a beautiful counter move, you know, because the Samoan drop is more a power move, mm-hmm. you know. And while Solo is really, he's got a good body for rough house, for brawling, um, you know, he can get that done. And he's got that good enough small size to be a good technical wrestler mixed in there a little bit. But he's not a power wrestler. And Samoans tend to be power roughhousing wrestlers. Tama Tonga is a technical expertise, not a power wrestler. But it's beautiful. But he's technical and he's explosive. Yes. Whereas Jacob is power and explosive and explosive jacob got all of it he's got the complete total package it's it's an awesome thing to, to 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 take in he's just as limber and agile now as he was when he was 40 or 50 pounds heavy mm-hmm. it's no different i think jacob probably gave up a little bit of power maybe 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 but hey one he's healthier and he's jacob i'm happy he's there there you go <laughs> It's it's just it's I don't it's just areas that he could tweak. Uh, he's got the things he's got the things that Samoa are quote unquote supposed to have, and he's he needs it. to he needs to advance beyond that. We saw pictures of him with his hair was just black. I'm like that's he it right there. So much better. That was just it right there. It was his 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 hair was black and his facial hair was trimmed just right. It didn't look all scasey and dry like it does now. Yep, it was filled in a little bit more. You know, I was like, "That's it right yeah. there." Um. Okay, so you you done? Um, I mean, keep going. I'm. I'm, I, I'm I just. I think. I think I'm done. Is. But it's not gonna happen if you don't see it. And he's at he's at this he's at a point now where his personality something within him has got to shine to make him be different, or else he gonna get shitted to the wayside. And WWE it, and it will, take much. WWE would do that in a heartbeat. He's got a limited amount of time, and whether he knows it or not, he really does. He yeah, he got a limited amount of time because they give him the ball. He better he got to start scoring somehow, and that. And that is a company problem. Yeah. It's not going to be, it's not Solo Sokoa's fault if he gets pushed to the side. Yeah, it's, it's not. the co- Solo Sokoa, as a pro wrestler, only as a pro wrestler, he's a child. Mm-hmm. Okay? I'm not talking about his age. He is six years into this in industry. Six years. He don't know Jack. It is up to WWE to do their best to guide him, teach him, slight, not mold him, but give him ideas that he can work with. And to most importantly, that every parent need to do with their kid, listen to him. Not do what he say. That not listening doesn't mean taking orders. Listening means Solo might say, "I'd like my character to go here or go there." And they say, okay, then, what's your idea thoroughly with that? Hash it out. Go over it. I'm not saying that they don't. I'm not saying that they do. But I'm taking it on the fact of my history, as well as some others, that watch WWE, and people just 
go away. Yeah. They've been there for a little bit. They're doing well. And then they're gone. Mm-hmm. Like, listen to Jim Ross on Gold Dust. We could probably talk about that or something, uh, him. But they told him, bruh, you need to stop all the, you know, the, the rubbing on people and all that. You got to stop that because the fans were hating it. Mm-hmm. Homophobia was a thing and it still is, but it was really, really bad, bad back then. And Dustin said it, going to the ring and stuff, people would throw stuff at him, spit on him and stuff like that. Call him, you know, all those homophobic slurs, mm-hmm. all that stuff. Vince and others said, you got to stop. All right. And there are times where Dustin just not going to stop. Got to do it because it's part of the gimmick. It's yeah. what it is, and what they and they were so scared they had no idea. In Goldust, they had a mega heel. Mm-hmm. They had a mega heel. Definitely. He could have been a mega heel. All they had to do was just say, "Keep doing what you're doing," because they hate you. Yeah, they hate you. They hate the idea of same sex. They hate the idea of. A, a man do anything like that to another guy and they, they will ha- come to pay to hate you yes now if WWE started taking mass losses because of it that's different they were publicly traded by then so or folks show up with you know weaponry that that might be a problem hey get better security that's that's so yeah now see how they, I'm talking about how they messed up with him right mm-hmm Okay, Scott Hall. All they had to do was give Scott Hall a little bit more money, just like they were other people. They didn't do it. So he went to WCW. Plus, his character was cooling off. They cooled off Gold Dust so fast. Took everything away. Ken Anderson, Mr. Anderson. He was doing well. Triple H was like, I don't need the competition. So, saved his spot. Cooled off Ken Anderson. Took everything from him. He had to go. Mm-hmm. All that was under Vince. This is Paul Levesque, the one that got Ken Anderson out. Mm-hmm. That's why all I can say about Paul is, one, I don't want him dead, and I think that name was would be far more marketable than Triple H. But Solo Sokoa, right now, he's right there at the multiple forks of the road. All right? He's young. He's, he's not young. He's young. Mm-hmm. Okay? Uh, I'm, I'm 48. I'm still young. Mm-hmm. Stuff, I can still... I can still do stuff if I want to. Solo Sokoa, he's got a lot. So, just think about this. This is why I say you gotta watch out. You're gonna be a, you might make him a baby face. Solo Sokoa... He's still new to wrestling. He's still, he's a baby still. All right. He's, he's, he's a baby. This man is right now hostile takeover tribal chief with people older and far more experienced than him. Okay. Yeah. He took the tribal chief from Roman Reigns. Uh huh. Okay. Roman carried that for a while. All right, Solo Sokoa should be billed as the young tribal chief with no experience, but he's got smarts in certain areas. This is when you get that over. He's young, he's taking it because there was no one else to take it. Yeah. So he got it. Tama was too new to the bloodline. Mm-hmm. By time in the bloodline, Solo Sokoa is the senior. Yeah. So that's why. And through respect, heritage, tradition, through Tongans and Samoans, they all recognize this pattern and they respect it. That's how that should be, just to get a base on why are you listening to this dude? There you go. Your islanders work together. Mm-hmm. Okay? Solo Sokoa is young. He has got to learn the ropes in his own way. He got rid of the wise man because the wise man was too loyal 
to the one that was ousted. He needs a, he needs his own wise man. Yes. He needs one desperately. Yes. That would be a, that would be his next smart move. But you need someone that can talk. Yes. Someone that looks a little islander. Yes. Someone that's well known in pro wrestling. But he's got to be completely different from Paul Heyman. Yes. And if not, if not a guy, it could be a woman. It could be. It could be. Now, I'm not building up to someone that I think, no, I'm just saying this is what would be needed. But Sokoa could easily be built as he's learning and getting better. And because he's getting better, he's getting more dangerous as himself, as he finds himself as tribal chief. He's dangerous enough in ways that we can't talk about, which is why they follow him. At that point, people, what, 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 is, what, what, what are you saying? Yeah. And you don't touch it no more. Mm -hmm. You leave it alone for a while. You leave it alone for a month or so. And then when something's going down and he's barking orders, you, he needs at some juncture to point out there are people in my life that are no longer in my life and no longer in anyone else's lives. That's why I'm up here. And that's why I'm doing what I'm doing. And you can see, and Tama Tonga is chef's kiss because he is very facially expressionate. And he can look at Sokoa and when Sokoa say something like that, Tama can look at him and kind of look like, yeah. <laughs> that nod and, and that raised eyebrows of yeah this, whew, yep it's like and I needed somebody that can equal some of my crazy that's why I got Jacob it's like but somebody's got to be the brains around here and that's me he needs to start barking orders to his Tongans and his Samoans you need to go after this person. You need to go after that person. Right now, they got this thing with Randy and them. So, okay, Solo is going to be after Cody. Mm -hmm. You got everybody else after everybody else. But everybody else, as we've seen, is going to be kicking the shit out of them. And they're going to have to start getting some wins under their belt. They're going to have to start putting those three down mm -hmm. to the point where those three got to get a fourth. Yeah. They got to get a fourth. Who, when, where, how, why, it don't matter. But they got to get a fourth. Someone that they're going to bring up because what you're seeing is upper echelon on SmackDown. And it can get worse if Hikaleo's coming. And he joins. join the bloodline. Yes. Or Roman Reigns. You know, it's all about how they're going to play it. And if Roman can come back, mm -hmm. whether he come back or not, I I just hope he can be healthy. Yeah, that 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 ain't nothing to, to, to mess around with. It, and if he, if he were to follow what you're saying and to outside the ring bolster his own violence or how dangerous he is, he's gonna have to start changing some things up in the ring. That's the thing. That's why I said as he grow. Yeah. As he Slowly grow, he needs to add a couple things to the repertoire. It takes, look, you've got to train in pro wrestling damn near at a minimum of a year. you got to be fully trained in moves, bumps. You ain't even found you. You watch New Japan, them young lions, that's really what you do, wrestling school. Yeah. You do those things. Back to back to the point where you probably wake up in the morning just taking a flat back bump and don't, what am I doing? <laughs> you know, a little hyperbole, but I'm sure it's probably happened. You know, and when you see somebody slip and fall, you almost want to critique it. <laughs> so, yeah. Until they kept your arms in. That's a year. <laughs> that is a year of training. That's one of his six years. Just think about that. One that and what did I say? A minimum. Mm -hmm. So then you've also got you got to have match experience. That don't mean going out and getting in front of everybody. That simplistically means 
you working with people obviously behind the scenes and having matches and listening to them call because you got to, that company should by at large have their own codes in the ring you know something drop down hop over drop kick and figure out who's going to do who do what and then it goes accordingly you know shoulder block tackle off the ropes drop kick you know clothesline clothesline back body drop hop over the ropes throw something do something some chain some something so he's got to, he's got to learn that's that's going to be probably another 6 months that's that's a one and a half years of his six years. Then you got to come out and say, all right, we're gonna try you in small stuff. But this WWE, see, that's the thing. He comes out, bam, Roman Reigns. He's right there. He comes out as an enforcer. Don't know Jack. So he loses damn near every match. And that's a good thing to lose all your matches because it humbles you. It humbles you. You don't want to be that dude that has won matches and you look good and you win matches. You win a belt and then it comes to the point where you got to lose that match or or, or that belt and that match. And then all of a sudden you start seeing stuff happen. You might go into business for yourself and do something stupid in the ring. Or I quit the company and I'm taking the belt with me. I can't give it up. Stuff like that has happened in the past. Uh huh. So, you know, they bought Solo in. And he, he's right there at the top of the game. You know? Mm -hmm. And it's not like some people like to think, okay, you work with the big people. The top class is going to rub off and you're going to be there. And now he's able to go on his own. He's been working with him for four years. No! That's four years of... Uh, he's under the learning tree. That's where he is. He's still there. He's still learning. And he's learning... While leading a group. So that's what I'm saying. I really hope WWE helps him at every step. Damn a financial investment. This is a human life. Help him. Because of everything we're talking about. Because after looking at the page, seeing how long he's been wrestling, and he's had some belts, I guess. Okay, fine. You know, he's done some things, but he needs, he needs time. I'm giving him time and I'm having patience for him. This is a fledgling guy. Right now, as a fan, here's the beauty of you being a fan right now. And the beauty is simply this. You get to watch this guy grow from not a rank amateur, an amateur and watch him grow. How, what moves does he add? What is his style? He's still got to find his in-ring style. He's still doing the old school Samoan stuff. Hit the steps, -ah! wild arms, and go up there. That's old school stuff. But what's him? What's him? You'll find who, it's not gonna happen overnight. This ain't gonna be overnight. This but is over some years. What we have to hope is that he is not of the mindset of, oh, I got everything I need. Look that, at me, I'm tribal chief. I, I took the moniker of tribal chief and I take it to heart. It's real. It's like, whoa, bro, you got to slow down. I don't need to do anything. I don't need to listen to nobody. I, I, I don't need to improve. I don't need to grow. <laughs> yep. Like there's some people. I'm world heavyweight champion in this company now. You know, hey, look, I'm not going to do anything until I, I ain't showing up to that show until I get my way. Pay me more money and I'll show up. Because uh, Ultimate Warrior did that. <laughs> I'm a star. Belt or no belt. I'm going to do what I want to do. And it's like, oh, crap. Really? This dude's a monster. Great. Bret Hart, he falls into that. Regardless of the story, regardless, Bret Hart was WWE, well, WWF champion. He was having some beef with Sean. He planned to go to WCW because WWE won't gonna pay him. He wasn't happy with a lot of things. So, he's got to go. Okay, you're gonna go. Now, he, they, they chose Sean Michaels that he dropped the belt to. Mm -hmm. But every finish that there was, Brett's like, that don't do it for me. Because he didn't want to drop the belt, period. 
That's right. Why? Because he's champion. And Vince is like, you can't take this to WCW. You will make us look bad. You make us look weak. He's like, basically, without any words, because I don't know, but Brett could easily say, well, that sounds like a personal problem. Yeah. And you it know? really should have been automatic. You're leaving the organization. You should have just dropped it and rolled off into the sunset. It would have been a great, because I think Brett was the heel going into that match. I think that's how that was. I think, I don't, I, I don't remember. But heel or not, it wouldn't matter if Sean was the over baby face. It wouldn't have mattered. They could have easily have Brett low blow from behind, you know, behind the ref's back. He's reeling. He's getting up. Super kick. Roll him up. Grab the tights. You had to not only a nut shot, but super kick. That's your finish. That's legit. But roll him up with a hook of the tights and get the win. Yeah. That way, it's a, a jacked up finish, right? Yeah. But it don't make Brett look weak. It makes Sean look like a cheapskate, and he will be hated. Mm-hmm. And there you go. But there was nothing that they could do to get Brett to say, I'll do that. To the point where Mark Calloway was like, Man, he, he, he bowed up at Brett. And then the way they did it, because of Cornette's suggestion, that's where you get the Montreal screw job, and things are the way they are. And you don't want to get that again. Train them up. Teach Sokoa. Do what's right. This is your pro wrestling age, not real life age this is a child take care of this kid let everybody see how you treat your people grow prosper be that mega heel be in charge watch let us see the tribe the the villain tribal chief grow into his own Mm -hmm. that's what we need to see and you can talk about it but not too much because then the fans start getting a little sympathy. Mm-hmm. Well, this guy don't know much. He's just a little guy. He doesn't know. Man, he's got these thugs around him, and he's just a, he's just a pauper with, <laughs> you know, with, with some pull. <laughs> yeah, They're going to eat him alive. You don't want to do that because uh, he'd be a face. We already look at him like they're going to eat him alive anyway. <laughs> so, you know, take the blonde out your hair. Grow your facial hair evenly, get it brushed, because then you look serious. Moisturize. Make sure your goatee connects. Then you look neat. Yep. Tan just a little bit. And keep learning. And when you learn something and you got it down, show us. Protect your finish. Don't do other legit finishes as a transitional move. Learn pro wrestling to pull to carry out a match, and that's it. I mean, that's not all, but I'm just saying, extreme basics. That's it. I am now wanting to see how he grow. What about you? What do you think? If you disagree, that's fine. I'm just. I mean, all in all, he's got some work to do. So I would like to see some work. Yeah. So we'll see. He's a young lion still. You know? Right now, you know where he would be as a young lion? On excursion. Yeah. Yeah. One year of losing. Another year of 25, maybe 33% of your matches you lose. And then another year where it's 50-50, you know, and all that. And then you're gone. And then you come back in a year or two. That's, That's five years. Yeah. That's five years. He should, I'm just saying, he doesn't have the excursion. He doesn't have that experience. He doesn't have that training. He is WWE only. Right now. Right now. So, that, that, that puts him, honestly, as a, at a disadvantage. But, that don't mean he's bad. It don't mean that he's weak. It don't mean that he's not worth watching. This needs it, some work. That's it all. makes him worth, worth watching more. You know, 
that's that's how I feel. I I'm curious to how he's gonna blossom, and I hope he does. Cause mm-hmm. I don't want to see him fail. I don't want to see anybody fail, and you know, unless it's Logan Paul. He needs to fail miserably and publicly, you know. And they need to write headlines on his failure. Mm-hmm. You know, someone just came in and stole all his money, and they burned down his house. <laughs> they made sure that he was safe, and then while he's in the middle of the the ashes, looking at things that belong to him, so he could just come out with a video and laugh at him, you know, while taking selfies. Mm-hmm. You know, but that's just how I feel about it. I ain't gonna give Logan Paul a pass because he's. He's a superstar and he's famous and he's got money. Oh, screw I that. Don't care about any of that. A jackwad is a jackwad, you know. And so, those are my. These are our thoughts on Solo Sokoa. This has been Cedric Cedric for CRS and commentary, giving you our thoughts on Solo Sokoa. And with that, we want y'all to be cool, be chill, be safe, and uh, we'll see you next time.